welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to get my makeup done by charlotte tilbury well at charlotte tilbury counter again if you haven't seen my first video getting my makeup done at charlotte tilbury i'll leave it in the cards somewhere up here and i'll also leave the getting my makeup done at different counters like the other videos that i've done i've done fenty i've done mac and yeah i think fenty mac and charlotte tilbury so recently charlotte tilbury have dropped or are dropping a new foundation the lovely artist that i had last time becky you guys loved becky like every single day <laughs> every single day i get a comment multiple comments on that video till this day and that video was filmed in september you guys love becky so i'm going to becky again and she's gonna slay this face she's gonna try the new foundation on me i can't wait it's supposed to be like a medium coverage she's gonna give you more info about the foundation in the video because i don't really know about the foundation too tough so i'm pretty much ready to go i'm excited to see what becky's gonna do on me i don't really know what look she's going for but let's make our way to phoenix and let's get our makeup done by charlotte Tilbury. Woo! So this is my local Charlotte Tilbury counter. If you've ever been to a Charlotte Tilbury counter, you already know like she does not play when it comes to her display. Charlotte Tilbury is very glam and out there. Speaking of display, this is her display for her new beautiful skin foundation. It is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It runs in 30 shades and this is the darkest of the 30 shades. So you probably can find something for yourself. So I am at finish. And I'm at the Charlotte Tilbury counter. I'm at the Charlotte Tilbury counter, you can see it behind me. We're about to get this face slayed. Come say hi. hi. <laughs> Wait. Here's Becky again, hi. your fave. Hi. She's got all the products already laid yeah. out. New foundation. New foundation. I'm going to try it. So this service was gifted, so I do want to give a little disclaimer out there. Thank you to Charlotte Tilbury for gifting me the service. Becky's going to start by sanitizing her hands just to be clean. And plus, we do have the Rona running around. We do not want to catch anything. Then she's going to cleanse my face with this cleanser. Um, just because I've been outside and, you know, we can environmental pollution and whatnot, whatnot. She's going to cleanse my face, make sure it's really, really clean. Then she's going to go in with the magic serum and apply that onto my skin. This is the cryo eye serum. This Ooh. is like a newer one. It's really, really yeah. nice. So it's got like the metal tip, which is like cooling. So it's mm. good for like puffiness. I keep mine in the fridge. Mm. It's really, really nice. I put skincare in the fridge as yeah, well. Yeah, so, so nice. And yeah, it's more of a serum than a cream, which I kind of prefer okay. the eye area. So Becky's just going to apply that serum under my eyes as well as on my eyelids. To be fair, I feel like I need to do more skincare when it comes to applying my makeup because it does make a difference to how your makeup goes on. So definitely taking that tip on famous magic cream mm -hmm. Then we have the famous magic cream. So I really, really love this stuff. It really just moisturizes, plumps and hydrates your skin and just makes you look all around glowy. Then we're gonna do a quick foundation match. Becky's gonna put three shades on the side of my face and pick which one suits my skin best. That yeah, this is a bit too dark and mm -hmm. this will match my chest and more. This matches my face, but yeah. this will definitely match I my chest. That's okay for yeah, because we're gonna bronze up and stuff anyway mm -hmm. and it'll make the contour in that pot. Yeah. Cool. So as my face is a little bit darker than the rest of my body, we went for the shade 14 and she's going to apply that all over one side of my face to begin with. It's like so fresh. Mm. They're like saying it's like a your skin but better finish mm -hmm. and like I totally agree with that. I've seen it on Instagram and it looks really, really mm -hmm. good. I wouldn't even say it's like dewy or satin, like I think it does look quite different depending on your skin type, if mm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Would you say it's just a little bit more than a tinted moisturiser? No, so we've got like three foundations, so mm -hmm. our light one foundation is our lightest one mm -hmm. and I'd say this is literally a mixture. Ooh, nice, right? It's really glowy as well. I'd say it's a mixture of our light coverage and our, uh, you know the airbrush one that you've mm. sort of tried? Yeah. It's a proper combo of that because like it's got the longevity of airbrush mm. but it's got the more sheerness of our lighter one mm. this will be great for like no makeup makeup days yeah yeah i love that mm -hmm. i like that i've done half and half so you mm -hmm. can actually see like it's actually covered up really well to be mm -hmm. fair wow nice right okay Nice color. I must say guys, I'm really, really impressed with this new foundation. It makes my skin look really glowy and it's just so natural and soft, which I really like. You can definitely wear this on no makeup makeup days. But next we're gonna move on to concealer. Becky's taking the Magic Away Concealer in the shade nine and applying that all over my oh, under eye. so nice. Okay, that Ooh. looks really, really nice. Ooh. Really natural. 
so this is one side with the concealer and the other without and it just naturally just lifts my face and makes my under eye just look a little bit brighter it's nothing too crazy nothing too highlighted but it definitely makes a difference so just going to apply that to the other side of my face or the other side of my eye um, and then blend that out as well then she's going to go in with the same concealer and apply that all over my eyelids this is just going to act as a base for the eye product she's going to apply in a bit To set, Becky's taking the airbrush flawless flawless finish powder, <laughs> such a tongue twister, in the shade 2 and just patting that under my eyes. Um, then she's going to take the bronzer in the shade 4 and give me a nice bronze. I love this bronzer. Literally, since the last time I did a video with Becky, um, I was gifted this bronzer and I have not I have not put it down since. This has become my new favourite bronzer. It's really, really good for dark skin girls. So if you're looking for a bronzer and you're around my shade, I would definitely recommend this bronzer. Then Becky's taking a warm blusher and just giving me a nice little blush with that this is also black girl friendly so i'll leave the shade below all the shades and everything that becky used today would be down below so click show more to find out what she used oh my god your skin is amazing I'm nice skin. Skin. it looks more natural so this is how we're looking so far we're gonna set my skin and give me a little bit of hydration with the flawless setting spray and here goes the glow honey we are glowing i love it so for brows, Becky has already done it one side and is just applying a brow set. But can I just say the shape of my brows? Like brows are a very personal thing and she got the shape really, really good. So she's cleaning off the pencil and applying it on the other side. And yeah, this is just looking so like flawless. Like I, I, I cannot, like my skin looks gorgeous. My brows look very well put together. I'm just very pleasantly i don't want to say pleasantly surprised because she's done a good job before but it looks really really good so now she's going to take this all matte eyeshadow palette and she's just going to create a really really soft diffused eye look on me nothing too crazy just a very soft everyday eye look she's starting with a warm brown in the crease and then she's going to add um, a deeper brown on the lid and then smoke it out oh oh the african is coming out and then smoke it out with a pencil <laughs> So this is what this is looking like so far. I just did this little clip just so you can get a better idea of what my skin looks like. Very, very soft, very flawless, very glowy and natural. So she's going in with the coal pencil on my water, no, not waterline, lash line. And she's just going to apply that on my lash line first and then smudge it out with her brush. And personally, I really love doing eye looks like this. I really like diffused eye looks, nothing too harsh. You can't see where one product starts or ends. But I like it, it just looks really soft and natural. And this is what my eyes look like after that. Then I'm going to quickly apply um, some mascara with a lash wand, a disposable lash wand for sanitary reasons and then becky's gonna go in and just set my face with um, a face powder again this powder is quite light nothing too heavy it's literally just to take away any oil or shine in unwanted places this is what my base and everything is looking like so far gorgeous then we're gonna go in with a liquid highlight she's just using that on the tops of my on the tops on the top of my cheekbones and then using her finger to warm that up and pat it in this is very subtle like it literally disappears into my skin you can barely see it on camera but once the light does catch it it does give the skin a really really nice natural glow i'm not actually sure what the name of this product is but i'm gonna leave it down below she's gonna go in with a sponge just to make sure it looks very skin like and it blends in as one into my skin and she's going to add a little glow to the corners of my eyes just to you know give it a little pop just to give it a little pop whatnot i like doing this as well it just opens up your eyes and makes your eyes look bigger and brighter after that, I'm going to apply my lashes. Charlotte Tilbury doesn't offer lashes, so I did bring my own lashes just to, you know, I'm, I like the glam, so I'm just going to put my lashes on. Then we're going to move on to lips. Again, I'll leave the products down below as I don't know the name. I don't know the shade names off the top of my head, but she takes a brown lip liner, a really soft brown lip liner, and applies that to the corners or the perimeter of my lips. And then just a really nice soft nude. It's like a pinky peachy nude and then applies that to the middle of my lips and that was pretty much it very natural lip combo then we're gonna set everything in with the setting spray <laughs> it was quite cold so that's why i reacted like that we're gonna set everything in with the setting spray and then once that's done just go over any patches or any 
I don't know, oily bits or whatnot. And after that, we is done. We is done. Like, this look is gorgeous. I was really, really feeling myself. Like, girl, you can't tell me nothing. Like, this is cute. Um, oh, one more thing. I'm gonna go in on the bottom lash line and just apply some eyeshadow just to smoke it out a little bit. I feel like we kind of should have left it like this, but me being extra, I wanted to put mascara on. So I did put mascara on in this clip. So um, it makes it a little bit more smoky and a little bit more nighttime, but I still like it. Then she added a little bit more blush and that is the final look, guys. So tell me what you think down below. This is the final look. I loved it. It's just so fresh, so natural, so glowy. Very, very good for just every day running around. You can also make it a nighttime look by smoking out the bottom. So these are just little clips from her Instagram. She did a fantastic job. Don't forget to follow her on Instagram. I'm gonna leave all her details below as well as in this video definitely leave your comments down below and tell me how you think she did this is the finished look my makeup is all done it's the glow for me it's the eyes for me period here's becky again hi bye <laughs> But yeah, thank you to Becky for slaying my look again. Oh, thanks for coming in. I'm gonna leave all the details below. Leave all her Instagram and all the details for her below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon in another one.